Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Something going on over there. Right. We are almost done here. Just, uh, just this one to go. Right. Let's give it another let's give it another shot. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Excellent. Oh, it's over there. That makes sense. Right. You need to remember to stay out of the its blast radius. Hiding behind uh, these doesn't help. What's it doing? What are you doing? Trying. Get out the way, Joel! I need, I need to refill. Making babies. Cool. Yes, there we go. Yeah, that's one down. Now what's it doing? Oh, 
Well, it. All oh, right, I think I need to follow it, don't I? Excuse me. Yeah, we know that. It's not a surprise anymore, Joe. Uh, I need health. I need health. Are you hiding the health in there? Fuck. There we go. Nicely done. Right. Get it before it's gone. You go back up here. Please say you are because there's a recharge thing that made life a lot easier. No, okay.
No! Fuck! Joel! You're in the way! God damn it. Have I got to do the whole thing again? Oh, I hate you, Joel. Last hammer. This should finish the job. Everyone ready? Lives up to its name. Um, I was hiding behind a thing. Bloody thing. Can't let it get away. Oh, yeah, it was hiding the health under its legs. And then you come. Come on, get down here.
go. I think we get in there. Yeah, that's not really a surprise, Joe. There we go. I think this weapon might be better than my uh, actual rifle. <coughs> Excuse me. Go after it. Yeah, hold on. Open your head. Open up, big fella. Come on. Oh, you're doing that. Oh, you bastard. Some, what if you two take that fucking thing out? Not being able to control the other two is was a bad idea. Well, there's not much we can do about that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on. Yes. No. There we go. Let's get there quickly, come on. Damn. Oh, it's up there. All right, I think we're all done here now. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's fast travel here and then I'll check my journal just to make sure. But EOS is now 100% in terms of viability at least. Uh, travel to Haval, travel to Vold. EOS, something personal. Talk to Addison and assist to redeploy Leto, okay. All right, so there's nothing else really I need to do. For the time being, at least, on EOS. All right, excellent. Ascent is go. All clear. We need to talk to Addison about Leto. We can probably head back to the Nexus and get that out of the way. Just so it's Pathfinder, are we going to Vold or Havarl? Pathfinder, you have new email. Oh, I still need to do naming the dead. Okay. Landing zone Eos. Architect Husk. What's this? Tracking a remnant architect. Ah. The one we fought ended up in orbit? Amazing. I still need to find bodies on EOS, but we can come back to that. Gil Brody, a game of poker. Read email from Gil. That's more than I remember being here. Helping of our scientists. Right, let's head back to uh, Nexus. Talk to Addison. Oh, we still need to uh, resolve the first murder as well. Here we go. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. Element zero. Thank you, I'll take it. It's very pretty. Right. That's this area we're now 100% scanned and done.
Oh, blimey, there's a lot to do here. I can't skip this. No worries. This was the days when loading screens were necessary. Watch your tone. You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need this equipment. Well, you're not getting it. Stop making frivolous requests. It's not a frivolous request. Properly functioning air filters are at... Frivolous. You'll just have to make do. We can't fix the station breathing bad air. Well, your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. What do you want? Whatever's going on, it's not fair to take it out on me. Apologies, you're right. This is not your fault. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, it's not half as bad as the reality. Oh, uh, that's Spencer. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. Maybe there's something I can do? A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. We need him gone, but... As incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. All right, so we've got that. That to do now. Hey, Vetra. What are you doing with that ship? That part doesn't go there. I gotta tell Kesh to do something about it. Hi, she has launched the founder of initiative. Ah, hey, Joe. Oh, yeah, I thought you'd be in here. Pathfinder. Thank you for arranging my access to the cultural center. Mm, there's so much to study here. <laughs> uh, it would take a lifetime. I'd enjoy that. All the reading, history, science, culture. Get some snacks, settle into that corner over there. No offense, but I'm starting with the Asari. <laughs> oh, sure. But when you get to Elcor Hamlet, I want to know. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like most people would start with the Asari. I'm Tian Garth, founder of the initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the cultural center. Please have a look around. Pathfinder, do you have a moment? We uh need to explain you. We hope you'll enjoy explain me? Our new VI over there is meant to describe the role of our Pathfinders, but it just lost all its settings in a crash. If you could fix them, that would really help us out. Just talk to the VI and it'll do the rest. Ah, all right, that's Thanks. how we... Of course. That's how we get that one done, then. The Nexus is a place of friendship and cooperation. We're glad you could visit. Welcome to the set of Pathfinder Informational VI. I am programmed with all relevant data. However, you must identify which information I should prioritize. First, select your preferred voice and appearance, male or female. Uh, let's go... Let's go female. Female, please. Very well said. Which aspect of the Pathfinder's role should be highlighted? Exploration and discovery or first contact with new species? Let's go with exploration and discovery.
Talk about our SAM partners. Very well said. Finally, should I provide career advice to future Pathfinders or an honor of former Pathfinders? List the former Pathfinders. Set up complete. Would you like to keep these settings? It all sounds good to me. Oh dear. There we go. Hello. This display describes our heart fighters. The initiative Elite Explorer. Tell me about Pathfinders. Pathfinders survey distant worlds and discover promising new outpost sites for the initiative. Our colonization efforts wouldn't be possible without them. How does someone usually become a Pathfinder? Tough job. Do Pathfinders have help? Each Pathfinder is linked to a partner AI that allows them to study new worlds in hours instead of months. Cool. If you see a Pathfinder on your travels, be sure to say hello. There we go. Sorted. Anything else around here? A couple of question marks over there. Let's go have a look. Oh, hello. Hey, Pathfinder. You're with the militia, right? What's going on in there? crowd of people in hydroponics and they won't leave they're disrupting operations might get nasty can you talk to them all right make what's, them here. Make what's, them what's going on what's here going on? that's your new galaxy making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen and it's all thanks to your pathfinder excuse me we've waited months for our families to come out of stasis they should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan, brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay. I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. 14 months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her! Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Our Nexus. Our <sighs> it's not the best quality, but we don't have many options either. All right, uh, operations. Just talk to you. I hear you went down to Eos. 
Did you find anything to help my case? An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's Omni tool recorded you over the body. Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent. Plain and simple. We'll see about that. All right, now let's go talk to Kendros. Oh, these guidelines from your recruits are killing me. When I was a merc, you figured out rookies with your gut, not some questionnaire. Exactly. Mercenaries run things their way. Tracking enemy activity. By the book. Reports out to intelligence. But we're a militia. Which is policing the Nexus. Got to do both. Hello? Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on EOS disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources and there's nowhere to put them. We only just got on our feet. Plus, it messes up the schedule again. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in Med Bay, but it's better than losing hydroponics or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kandros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Of course it is. Right, how's the strike how's the strike team's doing? Mission failure. Damn! Yay! Excellent. Uh, strike team. Right, try that one. There we go. Hello. Hey, Ryder, I'd like a moment. Yes, Lieutenant Syax, right? That's me. I'm putting together Apex strike teams to protect the people and assets you're setting up out there. We don't have a good sense of what we're up against and could benefit from your experience. I'll have Sam upload our insights on the Cat, Remnant, and Outlaw forces we've encountered. Thanks. You'll see. Apex will make a difference. There we go. Who's over here? Huh. Right, still. What's his face? Hey, Cash. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Pijak's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. 
More importantly, he still talks to the Exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Kenros. He likely has security footage of some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. Alright. Nothing more for now. See you later. We could Kendros again. But first, let's, as we're here, let's talk to Tired Face. No, it isn't what we wanted, but what? Yes, Pathfinder? Uh. I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of Cryo. I want to avoid that entirely. For reasons. Reasons? That's it? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Ooh, chum. Pathfinder. How are we doing on the viability front? Struggling. Need I remind you that viability isn't abstract. It's lives, our foothold. Get out there, Ryder. Pathfind. We're dying. <sighs> Pessimistic cow. What's the deal with your assistant? He's a bit... Spender is an ass. That's one way of putting it. I'm aware that he holds certain prejudices, but so does Tam, and we've limited personnel to draw from. Get us more outposts, maybe that changes. Having people like him around doesn't do your department any favors. Personality problems are pretty far down my give-a-shit list. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established? We send them where you signal, because that's where the need is. There's no time for preference. All right. Pathfinder. Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and process. Now we're living. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there will be no doubt that you're responsible. Fair enough. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were disheartening. Makes now that Podromos is on track, I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Lito, designation E-97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Uh. Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In a CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like uh, caring about a middle name. Do you not know yours? I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company even before you were made Pathfinder. Scott Ryder Pathfinder. Specialist designation A04 Malapa. Hmm. Something interesting? An A. And low odds. Mm, someone's an early adopter. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Another time. Pathfinder. There we go. Ah, yes, now I can unlock some of these. Oh, I only had one point. Great. Well, that's that done at least.
They are like an infection. An occupying force. The deeper we push into the cluster, the more likely we are to bump into them. There's no turning back. We're living here whether they like it or not. Then how's your marksmanship? Wise. It may come to that. Congratulations are in order. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. It was amazing. A culture we'd never met before, in a brand new galaxy. I was just glad to be part of it. It's a moment to savor. In the Milky Way, first contact was a rare event. In the meantime, I am eager to forge diplomatic ties with the Angaran people. We need any allies we can get. Did you have some other business? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Well, not really, because he didn't actually do it. It was crazy down there, life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos, but he's a free man. There we go. Ah, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. There we go. You're talking to yourself, Cora. I was going to speak to Kerry about the events on EOS. Alright. Kelly's not who I thought she was there won't be a problem uh, good then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the exiles might have gone when we do get colonial efforts up and running I don't want any surprises Origin report from recon team trails cold found what looks like abandoned camps in that system but none with living inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator rider was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. Alright, he's been released. Good, good. Oh, that's what that is. There we go. That's the movies sorted. Maintenance crews, please report to the commons area. Pathfinder, maybe you can clear this up. How can I help? My friend Jory was on EOS the first go round, barely survived. Now they want him to go back. They're saying the conditions are improved, that that it's safe now, is it? It's uh, safer than it was, yeah. You can believe the reports. EOS is becoming a livable and sustainable space. Going back to reclaim it will help heal your scars. See, Jory? It's going to be okay. Thank you, Pathfinder. Uh, I'll do that. Oh, yeah, Kandros, I need to talk to you about Spencer's footage. Thanks for understanding about the outpost and the protesters. You don't strike me as the political type. I'm not. Just pro-keeping everyone alive. Maybe those protesters will eventually understand too. It's done. I don't want to think about it. 
Need something else? I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but... You know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security vid archives? That'll be good. Thank you. Anything else? Bye, Kendros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. All right. Now we can. Team leaders reporting back. Huh. This file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Wait, is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this. Back. It'll help. Don't. I am sorry, Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. Sounds like a cover-up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kadara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip reading. I do not recognize the location from any current data. It appears mountainous and populated. We will need to find the planet before I can confirm. I will contact you via my node. Dara. Is that Let's where... Let's confront him. Is that where the Krogan are? I think that might be where the Krogan are. What the heck did I write here? I can't read my own writing. Pathfinder. Wow. I'm Davis Carr. Helios News Service. Maybe you've heard my voice over the vids. I'm trying to file a story right now, but hey. H&S, huh? Where are the rest of you? I had an editor, but it's crazy out here. Now, beyond a freelancer or two, I'm it. All that stands between freedom and tyranny, or something. I haven't had much sleep. Who pays for you to do this? Technically, h &S is an arm of the initiative, but we serve the public, not them. Sometimes the higher-ups try and tell us what to broadcast, TAN especially, but we decide what to run and how to run it. It causes friction, but at least I can live with myself. Were you a journalist back in the Milky Way? I was. Sort of. Only had a couple internships under my belt. Good places, though. The New Star Chronicle even sent me to Mars for a week. The plan was just to work as a reporter out here. Then the uprising happened. We got a little too close. My editor was killed. Tan blamed our broadcasts for stirring unrest. It was bullshit. Now all I want to do is keep going. I met another journalist, Carrie Tavessa. Yeah, we're running Carrie's series, Path of a Hero. Good stuff. I'm mostly on my own, so pretty much anyone who brings me news is welcome. Content is king, and her content is really touching a nerve. It must be difficult to set up a broadcast from scratch. No, it's easy. Beyond the lack of staff, resistant authorities, and constant technical glitches. Still, I'm getting there. May have an honest-to-goodness source in Nexus security, if she ever calls me back. <laughs> Who's your source? No journalist worth their salt will ever give that up. Good point. Talk to you later, Davis. Hey, Ryder, before you go, I hate to ask, but it seems like your job takes you all over. The places we can't broadcast yet. If I send receivers to your ship, would you mind placing them on some planets? It'll help get news out to even the most far-flung colonists. What do you need from me, exactly? I'm digging up good stories here, but not a lot of people beyond the Nexus can hear them. Our long-distance transmitter sends package data between ships and even planet side, provided there's a receiver on the other end. I need someone to place receivers and boost our signal. We only have a few, so they need to go on planets with people. Makes sense. Okay, Davis. I'll help you get set up. Great. Just place a receiver near an outpost, and they'll get our reports. Alright, so, yeah. More stuff to do back on EOS.
Techwood Breck, Kroger Betrayal. All oh, right, I know, I, I can see where that is now. Let's talk to these. I'm not going to confront Spender or Spender, whatever his name is, just yet. The mutiny went as well as you'd expect. Do you have just so much violence? Then, after nearly destroying the station, the Krogan asked for more power. Good riddance. Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast. Sent a contribution for your expenses. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. My team and I surveyed Eos thoroughly, and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Hopefully they can handle any new ones. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? <laughs> My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. You are welcome. Oh, maybe I do need to confront him now. Alright. Ryder, is it? William Spender. Apologies if we met before. I meet a lot of people running colonial affairs. Running colonial affairs? I thought you were the assistant director. That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does all the real work. From what I've heard, your hands are pretty dirty. I saw the footage. You were handing something off? What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time on a witch hunt. You'd be wise to let this be. Locate the planet mentioned in security footage. Sure. I'm on to you, Spender. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been sick later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.